just as I thought we were about to enter the golden age of AI code editors duking me out to see who will be the best, GitHub and Copilot just shattered the hopes and dreams of all those founders in one quick announcement. If you don't know what I'm talking about, GitHub Universe 2024 just did a crazy release. And what is GitHub Universe 2024? It's basically a global conference hosted by GitHub that basically brings people from across the world, from leaders, shareholders, people from security, but mostly targeted people and developers to get together and look at the work the GitHub team have been working on for the past year. This year, they've announced many different things, but the main center point has been AI, specifically GitHub Copilot. This year marks our 10th GitHub universe, and one theme has remained constant, our focus on developers and the developer experience. Over 10 years, that developer experience has evolved from inventing the pull request to building the world's most widely adopted AI coding tool, GitHub Copilot. And just a quick summary, GitHub Copilot is basically this extension that you have in VS Code, and it exclusively uses models from OpenAI, the large language models that OpenAI offers. You can give it your code, you can prompt it, and it will give you the answer you want right in the comfort of your VS Code editor. But with this newest announcement, it seems that exclusivity is now completely gone as GitHub and Copilot have now introduced the choice of using multiple different large language models from different companies. Introducing new powerful AI native experiences, the best model for the task, the power of developer choice. We are bringing developer choice to GitHub Copilot with Anthropic's Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro, and OpenAI's O1 Preview and O1 Mini. Basically stating that we are no longer only going to be using OpenAI's large language models, but they've officially opened the door to introducing Anthropic's and Google's LLMs. And what could possibly happen is they can introduce a lot more in the future as well. There has been a model this year that has really caught fire with developers across the planet. What's his name again? Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So today, I'm excited to announce a new partnership with Anthropic, bringing the power of Claude to GitHub Copilot. It continues to say that these new models will be rolling out first in Copilot Chat with OpenAI 01 Preview and 01 Mini where Claude 3.5 will be rolling a progressive view over the next week and Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro in the coming week. So that's the roll-up plan for these models. Now, why this is so significant is because if you remember about four weeks ago, I made a video talking about the AI code editors that are rooting tech. And in that video, I explained how there are now so many different code editors popping up and getting funding through Y Combinator. But I was curious what else is out there. And I went over to the ycombinator.com and I looked at the fall 2024 and summer 2024 uh, batches. And not only was I surprised with what I saw, but I was extremely shocked to see how many just AI bad companies Y Combinator is investing in. We have Bramble, we have uh, Pair AI, Melty. Melty is the first chat based code editor. Let's add that in. There is Melty. Melty is an AI code editor where every chat message is a git commit. All right, that's cool. There's Cursor, the AI code editor built to make your extraordinarily productive cursor is the best way to code with AI. And GitHub Copilot just basically shattered all those dreams because you can see it with a tweet from West Boss, shots fight at Cursor. Cursor being one of the tools that's used. And if you don't know what Cursor is, it's basically an a editor where you can prompt your code inside the actual editor and it will change everything in place. You can see here it's showing you the diff. The green is what the AI has added and the red is what the AI is removing or changing. But this new example basically shatters us. You can see here, this is from the actual GitHub blog news. You can see this is an example of them using the new Anthropic Claude 3.5 feature on GitHub Copilot. And it looks exactly, almost shockingly similar to how Cursor and Pair AI work. You can see that you prompt your AI, your Claude 3.5 on the side here with your code, and it actually does the changes for you. Again, the red showing what it's deleting and the green showing what it is adding. And you have this little prompt right here, you can see where you can either accept or discard the changes from the actual prompt. I want to finish this off by saying I really like this tweet from Amadachino, which basically said, I think we all knew this was coming. Cursor and Pair AI were one VS Code update away from getting obsolete. 
And it actually gets kind of crazier when you go up and look at this six second video, you can see this drop down showing all the different large language models you can now choose from. I'm going to replay this. So you can see here, just like choosing what LSP or whatever setting you want in VS Code, you now have this little prompt to choose what large language model you want from the ones that listed in the earlier announcement. And you can see just continuing with the Gemini 1.5 Pro demo, it's the exact same thing. You give it a prompt and it gives you the difference right in your actual code, right in the comfort of VS Code, your editor of choice for this. My thoughts is that this is a giant step up for a GitHub Copilot. I think when Copilot was introduced, it shocked a lot of things. It introduced a lot of different opportunities for these companies. But now with this new integration, this new collaboration with other large language models, I think the game is done. I think VS Code has surely secured itself as the number one code editor to use if you want to rely heavily on large language models and or AI. Another thing that's crazy that happened at GitHub Universe that's almost as crazy as you not subscribing and clicking like on this video, it's free and it helps the channel, is that now Python is the most popular programming language on GitHub. And I think this is really due to the fact of how Python is used in machine learning and training large language models, training AI, the ETL jobs and everything in between. It has now actually surpassed King JavaScript and King TypeScript as the most popular language because of all these other data scientists, engineers using Python for the work that they're doing on AI. So that about does it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you use GitHub Copilot? If you do, what do you like about it? And how does this announcement impact you on how you use GitHub Copilot in the future? And if you're a user of Cursor AI, how does it make you feel? Is it changing for you? Do you still prefer Cursor AI? Or are you now just jumping ship to GitHub Copilot? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one. Peace.